But what about the boys? They're hardly at home high and dry on the quay. This is a warehouse for boys where the names tell a sea story all by themselves. This is the Harwich depot of Trinity House, and it's from here that ships like Siren set sail all year round to keep over 150 navigational buoys bobbing about in the North Sea. Without them, the shipping lanes we take for granted could become channels of disaster. So they keep their maritime rendezvous as regularly as clockwork. It isn't plain sailing by any means. Trinity House sailors have to take their ships alongside their boys to make essential repairs and maintenance. So they're sailing into waters all other ships are warned to steer clear of. They refine their navigational arts to the nth degree, or they'll founder on Dogger Bank or Goodwin Sands. When they've sighted the buoy, it's down with the anchor and out with a new acetylene gas cylinder. Enough fuel to keep the light flashing every 10 seconds for a year. Although they call around every three months to make sure gales and heavy seas haven't blown the buoy off course. We're alongside the southwest middle buoy, five miles off Falness Point, 20 miles out from Harwich. The waters here abound with shoals, sandbanks and fast currents treacherous without the guiding light. Keeping these floating traffic lights in trim means more than replenishing the gas supply. A buoy is an ideal haven for a host of sea creatures, a paradise for parasites, hanging on for dear life. But the mussels and limpets just have to go. It's a wash and brush off operation that might make seafood fanciers water at the mouth. But they're just an extra burden to bear. And even though a boy isn't a she like a ship, he's still got to be ship shape. Like all true sagas of the sea, there's a twist at the end. They throw everything back. So no doubt all the crustaceous hangers-on will be back home with the boys in no time. Though they wouldn't have much chance of catching 